So I thought I'd uh, say a little bit about Afghanistan. I've talked so much about Afghanistan. I feel a little, uh, I'm sick of it, the whole topic, but uh, a few things have happened. Since we last talked, I, I don't think I've done a show since 13 Marines were killed. I can't remember. Did I do a show since 13 Marines again? I don't think so. Um, and uh, the news this afternoon is, of course, that the last airplane has left uh, the Afghan airport, uh, the airport in Kabul, and we're done, uh, the last American soldiers. I'm sure, I'm sure there's a bunch of special forces on the ground all over Afghanistan, but uh, the, the bulk of the American troops are out of the country and, um, and gone. So we have been officially now, oh, look, Thomas is both here and there. <laughs> Thomas is both doing Super Chat and in, uh, in, uh, in the live audience right here. That's cool. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Um, we have now been officially defeated. We have now left Afghanistan with the tail between our legs. We have now, uh, uh, our last troops have left. The Taliban is in charge. Uh, the Taliban is, uh, has complete control. Well, not complete control, but has control over most of the country. There is a little bit of opposition in the north, uh, where if you remember before 2001, there was a northern alliance. That area is probably going to resist uh, the Taliban rule for a while. It's not clear the Taliban has enough uh, military strength to take them. Uh, so there'll be a small island of non-Taliban rule. I won't say freedom because I doubt that the Northern Alliance is, is that free, but there'll be at least no, uh, no uh, uh, crazy uh, Islamists. Um, I think they're much more practical, pragmatic in their rule up north. Um, it, to me, it's just the whole thing has been unbelievable. I mean, the idea that, um, you know, the, the whole setup, the whole way in which this was executed, the, the pathetic nature of this. I'm waiting to see how many generals actually resign as a consequence, if the commander of the Afghan uh, mission resigns, if anybody in the Joint Chiefs of Staff or maybe, maybe the head of military intelligence is going to resign over this because this is a massive military failure. It's a political failure, but I don't expect Biden to resign. And I'm not sure I want him, given who's uh, vice president. But uh, it certainly is a massive uh, intelligence failure, a massive military failure, and there should be heads rolling. Uh, the fact is that the way this was executed, it just left it completely open for an attack on U.S. troops. Uh, it it was just a question of who would do it. It could have been one of uh, it could have been much worse if one of the uh, opposing. Uh, groups within the Taliban decided to do it. They could have uh, inflicted many, many more casualties on Americans. Uh, it could have been al-Qaeda. And, of course, it was, it turns out, or at least we're led to believe, that it was a group of ISIS followers in, uh, in Afghanistan uh, doing this. It, it, it's, it's humiliating. It's absurd. It's, uh, it's sickening. It's sickening uh, to see another 13 American lives lost for no reason really for no reason, for in, in the name of defeat, in the name of the cowardice of our political leaders and of our military leaders, the unwillingness to actually win the war and our unwillingness to actually inflict casualties. Of course, Biden the next day, like every American president has, we will get them, we're going to, you know, the, the people responsible for this will pay a price and, and they, they put some, I don't know, aircraft or drones into the air and kill the leader of ISIS the next day. One of the things you should think about is, if the U.S. military knew where the leader of ISIS was living so that within 24 hours they could kill him, or one of the leaders of ISIS, why didn't they kill him before? Why didn't they kill him a week ago, two weeks ago, a month ago, three months ago? Why wait until he actually killed 13 Americans before you kill him? If the military intelligence, and I, I believe they knew where ISIS is, they know this kind of stuff, if we know this, why aren't we actively crushing these people? because we've given up on the idea of defeating them, we've given up on the idea of winning, we've given up on the idea of defending ourselves. ISIS is clearly dedicated to destruction, and the, 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 the motive of Americans, well, destruction is too big of a word because they, they're not going to destroy America, but uh, clearly dedicated to the killing of Americans, and yet we know where they are, we know who their leaders are, we know where they're hiding, and we do nothing. We just sit back and wait for them to strike us, and then we act? This is the whole problem with uh, the, cons the, the, the post, uh, I'd say post-Bush 
conception of the war on terrorism that is primarily almost dominantly reactive. We wait for them to kill some Americans and then we do something. And it was the problem before 9-11. Bush had the right idea in the sense of taking the war to the enemy, but just a disaster in executing and, and his inability to understand uh, the, the fact that this primarily was a, um, an ideological war. And he, 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 we lost the ideological war the, the, a month after 9-11 when Bush celebrated the Ramadan in uh, the, the Holy uh, Muslim Month at the White House uh, a month after 9-11, which was a, a major travesty in my view. So, tragic, depressing. Uh, we left the several hundred American <coughs> citizens in Afghanistan. One assumes that some of them didn't want to leave or that we couldn't get to them. Who knows? I, I don't think there's any real good reporting or any good real information about why or who the hundreds of Americans who stayed in Afghanistan, uh, what, that's, what that is about. Uh, but Clearly, we didn't evacuate all American citizens. Again, hard to tell whether that was their choice or our choice. And then, of course, there are the thousands, maybe tens of thousands of Afghans who helped Americans, who assisted the Americans, and um, who, uh, who uh, are being abandoned in Afghanistan in spite of promises to get them out, promises that we have violated. Uh, what that airplane leaving Afghanistan today symbolizes, I think, for the world is that we cannot be trusted. I think it's that, you know, we will not stand by our word, we, i.e. America, that uh, if you're an ally in the U.S., don't count on its support, you're on your own. You know, we're not going to fight to protect you. We're, if, if push comes to shove, we will abandon you, just like we abandoned our South Vietnamese allies in Hanoi, um, in, uh, was it 1974, we will do the same thing. We are doing the same thing now, and we, we are likely to do the same thing in the future. Uh, America is weak. America will not fight, will not defeat its enemies, will not uh, support its, uh, its allies. It's, it's, you know, I, I'm glad the troops are out of Afghanistan, so at least none of them die for a lost cause anymore. So in that sense, this is, this is good. Um, but this is not how it should have ended. This is not the right thing. It's just, it's uh, given given who we have as leaders, given, but it's not just our leaders, it's American people, given the philosophy of the American people, giving the willingness of the American people to, to demand victory or the lack of that willingness. At least we're out of there. At least kids are not going to die for nothing. Now, the consequences of this, and that is that you, you know, it, it would be shocking if Afghanistan does not become a center of terrorist activity, it'll be shocking if training, training bases uh, for terrorists to strike against American interests around the world are not developed in Afghanistan over the next, uh, over the next decade or two. Uh, it'll be, yeah, it, 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 there will be casualties. We, we're saving some soldiers by going home, but there will be casualties. Those casualties will just be long-term and they'll probably be civilians and they'll be elsewhere other than Afghanistan, and a future president will, I can guarantee, evade the cause, evade the consequence, and pretend, um, you know, and who, who knows how they'll fight? Who knows how they'll fight that one? What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder... Please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. 
Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.